Yo, what is going on guys? Today I am showing you a pretty cool video. I completed the Dallas Stars collection. As you can see, I'm going to show you all the players. I'm also going to play three games, show you the packs I get, how good the team played, the best players on the team, just basically a review of the Dallas Stars in Hockey Ultimate Team for NHL 16. So to start off with, they have 35 players in their collection, and if you complete the thing, you get eight packs. I'm not going to show you all the packs, I'm just going to show you some of them. If I pull anything amazing, I'll obviously show you that, but we're going to show you the first pack, and then I think we're going to show you two more, and then we're going to show you the team, and then the first pack, we got nothing. We're going to move a few packs later, and in the second pack, well, the second pack that I show you, it's not that great, but it, we do pull Philpula and Eberle, which are solid players. They're just not worth much, but it doesn't really matter because these are all free cards anyway. And then the last pack we're going to open, it's not too great either, but I mean, these are free packs. We get Panarin, who's... He's, uh, you guys will see in somewhat of a future episode that he's a really good player. So we tried building the team off of the real life roster. The, I built this team a few days ago when a few players are injured, I guess. And now it's completely different. But basically, I built it how it's set up. Obviously, there's a few silver players who are not actually on the Dallas Stars collection. Daly's on this team, but he's not on the team. He's not actually on Dallas. He's on Chicago now. And Oduya's not in the game, I guess. I tried looking for him. I could not find him. So that's just their team, that's where their power play was set up as well a few days ago. And just their extras in here, if you just want to complete using Dallas Stars, people, Daly's in there, as well as Moen and Nemeth. You could use those two guys, well those three guys all together. Daly's actually pretty solid, but he's not actually on Dallas anymore. So we're going to move into some games with the Dallas Stars. So to start off with, Dallas was a pretty solid team. Sagan, I was not sure, I thought he was pretty bad last year, but so far in the three games I played with him, he was very, very, very solid. Jamie Benn, I heard a lot of really good things from him. He was good, but I'll be honest, he wasn't amazing. His shot was very good as well. And this comes after the tuner, which this was my first game playing in like two weeks. So I was a little bit rusty the first game. But we did end up winning this game, which you guys will see in a few seconds right here. A nice little play with the holding the puck. He just was a bit sloppy on defense, just sitting in front. And Eves is going to bury that home to give us a 2-1 victory in the first game. So not a great game from us, but we did get the win. We got like... Three times time and attack. Jason Spets had the most points. Everyone else had like one point. And Lettinen played very, very good. We move into the second game. I was feeling a bit more confident in this game. You guys see the final score of this game. It's a bit higher than the last game. But Ben makes a nice little move right there and just snipes it right there to give us a 1-0 lead. So again, this team is... I would say it's one of the most exciting teams in the NHL right now, just with Ben and Sagan. Those two guys right there are just doing unreal things. Klingberg is very good as well. He's not, I wouldn't say he's like, he's not like in the limelight right now, but he had a really good year last year, and he's having a really, really good year this year. So I'd say next year he's going to be a top 10 defenseman in the league. Like, people are going to actually know his name. And, yeah, besides that, they have two pretty good goalies. I wouldn't say they're any elite goalies. Letting and Yemi, they're good, but they're not like... Oh my gosh, there's the like top five goalie in the league. And the defense on besides Klingberg is, I'd say it's pretty good, but again, it's not great. And then their third and fourth lines are their average. But again, Sagan and Ben are probably the top two, well, the best like duo in the league, in my opinion. I mean, there's some really other, like there's some really good other ones, but just Sagan and Ben are just, they're two amazing players on the same line. And they're playing with Sharp at the moment, and he's a really good player as well. So they've got a lot of talent on this team. And for how they played in Hut and how much I enjoyed them, I'd say the cycling game was very good. Goalies were pretty good. Again, defensively wasn't the greatest. I'm not the greatest player controlling the defense, especially after the tuner. But again, this game we had four for five on the power play. Their power play was unreal. Again, I could have swapped some people here and there, but I was trying to do it off the real life stuff. So I think that's pretty cool. But again, I could have done whatever I wanted to and made the best lines possible. But I tried making it realistic, and it worked out real good that game. 4-5 for five on the power play. Moving into the third game, we start off with a nice little pass play right there to get us the 1-0 lead. And we're going to quickly score another goal right there from Hemsky. Hemsky was one of my favorite players in NHL 14, I believe. And I have not really used him this year, but he hasn't really been playing too much for me because he's on the third or fourth line. But he's still a really solid player. Sadly, not really in the NHL anymore. He's not that great. He's never like an outstanding player, but on the Oilers, he was a pretty solid player. Anyway, we get a breakaway with Patrick Sharp off a nice little pass right there from Tyler Sagan and a beautiful finish. And then Klingberg just rushes in and snipes it to make it a 5-2 lead for us. And with 30 seconds left, trying to get the 5-2 win, we play it's really sloppy defense and he's going to come in and score. And that would be the end of that game, 5-3. 10 minutes time attack, almost 1-2 for two in the power play. So not as great as the last game, 
and we're just looking at some stats. Hemsky and Sagan both had two points. Everyone else, not really anything there. And we're looking at the top points from this team, from the three games we played. Sagan, oh my gosh, I didn't realize he played so great. Also, Spezza's glitched. It says seven games, he only played three. Everyone only played three. Tyler Sagan had seven points. That's more than two points per game. Spezza had five points, which is really solid on the second line. Ben had five points. Sharp had three. That's a little bit eh. Eves had three. Ekinen had two. Klingberg, two. Hemsky, two. Nachushkin, two. The rest had one or under. Galagoski, a little bit like, ooh, he probably should have had more than just one point. But that's it. And then Niemi played the second game, if you guys didn't realize, and both the goalies we got to win. We're going to look at this little stat right here. The top player from the Dallas Stars, in my opinion, had, well, it is Tyler Sagan. He had seven points, but he was also the most fun to use. He was the fastest. He had the best hands, and he I didn't really get to shoot too much with him, but he had six assists. The PK was 89%, which is really, really good. The power play was even better at 54%. We had 4.67 goals per game, seven goals against, which is only 2.33 against. Our faceoffs were 58%, which is really good as well. This team costs around 425 to 500,000 coins, depending on the market and when people are up and low. And there are 35 items on this team. Overall, this team was a really, really fun team to use. Tyler Sagan was very fun to use. Ben was good. He wasn't as great as I was expecting. And Klingberg was also very good as well. Nachushkin, I didn't really get to... I thought he'd be a bit better, but he wasn't too great. Sharp was a bit iffy as well. I really like Spezza. And overall, again, I'd give this team a B, B plus, something like that. Or an 8 or an 8.5. They were a fun team to use. I recommend them if you have the coins. Obviously, Tyler Sagan and Ben are going to cost you, like, basically all those coins. Besides them, there's nothing real too much expensive. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, and I'll see you guys next time. Back to my ways. People always ask how I got my nice things. Take my crown to the grave. I'm underground.